It was about that moment I realized that I'm about to ruin my front wheel. And after that, my front wheel was buckled beyond repair. Or was it? Hi, I'm Alexandros Hyasas and today we are going to discuss about my attempt to repair my seriously buckled front wheel. So, long story short, I was trying a gap on my 26-inch GC Varial when I bailed and stepped on my front wheel. After test spinning my wheel, I knew that it was bent beyond repair and after a close-up check, I noticed that a set of 5 spoke nipples that were on the same side of the wheel were almost pulled out of the rim and the relevant nipple holes were cracked. Cracking the rim wall means that it's impossible to straighten this wheel just by tightening the spoke nipples, as the cracked nipple holes are unable to withstand the tension of the spokes. Also, the principle that we've already talked about regarding the equal spoke tension for each side of the wheel is applicable only for the cases that the rim is relatively straight when it's not tensioned. In my case, the rim is seriously buckled and in case that the nipple holes could withstand the required tension to straighten the wheel, the spoke tension would be so unbalanced that it could potentially cause damage to my hub. So the first thing I did was to bend my wheel to the opposite side so as to get as true as possible. And, surprise surprise, I did that in the same manner it got bent. My main objective at that point was to make it as straight as possible so as to go on with my training session and keep having fun. However, I already knew that I would have to replace the damas rim in the near future. After a lot of tries of being not so gentle with my wheel, I managed to get it as straight as it could be. And so, I continued riding, but I tried to keep in mind to avoid many up to front moves as my wheel had a large area that couldn't handle much load. When I got home, I decided to try saving the wheel for as long as possible while making sure that it will be safe to ride properly again. To temporarily save the wheel, I checked out the damage on the rim holes and I decided that I have to save the one with the largest damage. To do so, I hammered down the deformed material around the hole and I placed the washer like the ones used for my rear wheel building video. The aforementioned washer was used to spread the rim tension force to a larger area and supposedly the rim would be able to withstand some additional training sessions before I should rebuild my front wheel. Ok, keep in mind that this was just an experiment and I had already a set of brand new GC rim and spokes to rebuild the wheel whenever I thought that it was about to get risky to ride it. So, this repaired wheel lasted for about a month before the repaired spoke holes gets dangerously cracked. In the meantime, I was training regularly without any major issue, however, the need for wheel throwing was very often as part of my rim was not able to withstand all the load that I was putting it through. The one thing that you have to remember if you have to deal with a slightly cracked rim is that every time you try to tighten your spokes around the cracked area, your rim is getting closer to the end of its life. So, you have to keep in mind that it would be more preferable to untighten the spokes at the cracked area if possible, so as to make your wheel true. However, you cannot always avoid tightening the spokes and so the rim is destined to fail. So, keep that in mind to avoid risking it and when you feel that you cannot straighten the wheel, it's because the rim holes cannot support the spoke tension anymore and the time to rebuild the wheel has come. As I told you before, I was really careful with the tension of the spokes around the damaged area and so the wheel lasted about a month of training sessions before it starts failing. Ok, now it's time to rebuild this wheel and to do so, I followed the same principles I followed the previous time I was building my rear wheel. If you haven't watched my video of how to build the strongest wheel for trials, go watch it by following the link in the description below. For this wheel build, I used again the nipple washers I used last time so as to spread the tightening stresses a bit more around the spoke holes. Also, I used the 26GC front rim and the relevant spokes and as you can see, the lesson I followed was the same as the one I had before. After the initial testing in a truing and having made sure that the wheel is perfectly dissed, it's time to grind the wheel and go on with the final testing and distressing cycle of the wheel. Finally, my bike is again ride ready and so I'm much more confident than before. So, to sum up, it was definitely worth fixing the rim temporarily and it was a fun little experiment. Now, I do understand a bit better the structural limits of my wheels and I'm glad I've tested. However, 
I'm always prepared for anything and so I already have a new pair of wheels waiting for any unfortunate situation. So what do you think about this temporary solution? Would you ever try it in a similar situation? Please share your thoughts in the comment section below. If you like this video, smash the like button and in case that you are new to our channel, subscribe and hit the notifications bell so as to get notified every time I upload a new video. Also, if you think that this was helpful, feel free to share it with your friends. Finally, you can always be in touch by following me on social media. You can find the links to the relevant accounts in the description below. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Until then, make sure that your bikes are well maintained.